My name is Marshall Knecht. I'm going to explain you today the different units. We distinguish between large and small inclination angles of less than one degree. For example, when aligning a measuring table. For large inclinations, here measured by a blue clino, we using arcus degree, minutes, seconds, radians, gon, and artery per mil. For small inclinations, less than a degree, here measured by a blue level, we use millimeter per meter, milliradian, inches per 10 inches, inches per 12 inches, arc minutes, seconds and arc seconds. In the inclination measurement technology, especially in the transmission and processing of measured data, the unit radian plays a very important role. It's the most important unit for us as it makes the data processing for large and for small inclination consistently possible. The conversion is easily possible in any desired unit. The definition of a radian equals a full circle in degrees divided by the circumference of the unit circle. Equal 360 degrees divided by 2 or P. Equal 180 degrees divided by P. Equal 57.296 degrees. Alternatively, a radian also be represented as follows. If the arc length is equal to the radius, this corresponds to a radian. What's the connection between an inclination angle in arcus degrees, minutes and seconds to millimeter per meter? From the road, we know this ratio as a percentage indication on a steep mountain road. A gradient of 10 percentage means that the road increases on a horizontal distance of 100 meter by 10 meters. Now the derivation of the conversion of arc degrees, minutes, seconds to micrometer per meter. In our example we calculate the angle alpha equal to 1 arc second in micrometer per meter. Tangent alpha equal height h divided by r. In our example, r is 1000 mm. Consequently, the height h is equal to tangent of alpha multiplied by r, as mentioned above. We set now the height h in relation to the base length r of 1000 mm. From this, it follows that inclination alpha equal to 1 arc second is equal to 4.848137 micrometer per meter. In daily use, we use the rounded value of 5 micrometer per meter for 1 arc second. In reverse, a micrometer per meter corresponds rounded to 0.2 arc second. How big is an inclination of 1 micrometer per meter? If the height and the base length is multiplied by 1000, according to the theorem on intersectioning lines, the relations remain the same and we have a triangle with a height of 1 millimeter and the base length of 1 kilometer. For clarification, we stretch a cord over a distance of 1 kilometer. We lift this cord at one end by a millimeter. So we change the inclination to a micrometer per meter, which we get displayed by the blue level. This means for our blue level measurement unit, based on the distance between its points of support of 125 millimeters, that it even measures a height difference of one-eighth of a micrometer. 
For example, these units are used as follows. Mechanical engineering, micrometer per meter, millimeter per meter, inches per 10 inches, inches per 12 inches, and arcus degrees, minutes, seconds. For building monitoring, arcus seconds. For road and railway construction, percent. In science, gun. In the armed forces, artillery per mil. All of these units can be showed on a Wheeler display device. In our example, a blue meter sigma. More information can be found in our compendium, The Secrets of Inclination Measurement. Seminars and product training on inclination measurement technology take place regularly. The Wieler AG and our representatives will be happy to help you. Details can be found on our website. My name is Marcel Knecht. I thank you for your attention. Further information on Wheeler Precision Inclination Measuring Instruments can be found on wheelerage.com or in our YouTube channel. Thank you.